So Clay okay. wants to I'm let us know. Um, there is a feature of the iPhone emergency calling that can be useful for privacy protection as well. When you click the side button, um, the power button, uh, five or more times, the phone will give a countdown and then call emergency services. Uh, whether the call is made or is canceled, this disables Face ID, Touch ID, and Unlock with Apple Watch until the device is unlocked with a passcode. So this is a quick and easy way to protect your device uh, from an accidental unlock through the biometrics that we use for convenience. Another way to trigger this on iPhone and iPad is holding the appropriate button combination to shut the device down. Yeah, I I like this one that it, because it 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 allows you you can in your pocket do this and and I remember when Face ID or touch no not Face ID when Touch ID first became a thing there were people coming in through customs who were concerned about you know being searched and 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 if their device was you know you can be compelled to unlock the device with a by physical means but not with something you know and so. Uh, by putting it into this mode, you would then have to type in your passcode and, and you're good to go. So, yeah, I remember a lot of people saying they were doing that as opposed to, you know, wiping their phones before they came back through customs. So mm -hmm. I've never wiped my phone before I come back through customs. I'm more worried about, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm worried about. Probably getting home. I'm worried <laughs> so, about losing all my mm. pictures. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, there are a number of ways to make this happen. And the one way that I found quite by accident uh, is I was trying to take a screenshot, which on my phone is the power button on the right and the volume up button on the left. Right. Um, if you hold those down too long, that also activates the SOS screen. And I freaked out the first time it happened to me. I'm like, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I don't want to call 911. Well, and that's what you can do in your pocket because it, it your phone will vibrate when it moves to the SOS screen. And then if you let it go, it... It won't call nine one one, right? So that's that's the key. You can do this completely, you know, uh, without looking at your screen, which is potentially handy. I don't know. 